What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This is Sash with Geek Arts and today we've got a very special video. Today we're heading to Comic Con. So it's gonna be more of a vlog style video. Check it out, stay tuned. Uh, it's gonna be Luke's first Comic Con. So here is the little guy. Today we're matching. Hello. Hey. I'm gonna turn and uh, say hello to the camera. Give a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Huh? What's your shirt? What's your shirt? No, no. Yeah, so he's looking really cool. He's matching the ad. Mom is also matching today. So we're gonna head over to the Middle East Film and Comic Con. This is the third day. We weren't able to exhibit this year mostly because of the birthday celebrations of this little guy. However, we're we're really excited to check out the last day and hopefully, fingers crossed, meet Zachary Levi today. So let's see how it goes. All right, so we just got here um, and we're really excited. Luckily, we just found parking. I think it's still pretty early. The little guy is getting offloaded right now, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's head in there and see what this uh, this is all about. This all right, heading over to the exhibition center now. So damn hot today, man. So hot today. It's the final day. Pretty excited. We got here about 30 minutes uh, after it opened, so hopefully we get tickets to actually see Zachary Levi. Okay, we need to head over to the ticket area right now. So, and hopefully try and secure some of those Zachary Levi tickets. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, you guys. Let's see how it goes. We need to find ticketing area first. This little guy. Hey. Hey. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited, huh? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. It's usually on one of the far ends, so I hope. Okay, maybe it's over there. Oh, meet the stars. Found it, you guys. I found it. Meet the stars. I'm here with my That's true, man. Uh, how you uh, doing, bro? We were just talking about you, me and Ahmed. Oh, Ahmed is here too? Yeah, he's oh, here. Oh, man, that's really cool. I hope, to, I hope to catch up with him. Tell me, have you been here all three days, and what do you think of the Comic-Con so far? Uh, that's so good. Okay. Uh, but it's mostly... Compared, compared to last year. Last year was better. How would you rate this Comic-Con on a scale of 1 to 10 and why? Uh, 6. I'd give it a six because most of the things are repetitive from last year and before that. Uh, there's nothing like so new and nothing innovative. Okay, and what would you have preferred to see? I'd prefer to see more of a game booth, like a PlayStation was here like for, since Comic Con started basically. We, we would like to see more companies for, like these. Uh, more, uh, more attractions, you know. La I remember a couple of years ago. I'm not sure about this year, but they had some kind of like zip line. Yeah, thing. they did. Do they have something like that this year? Uh, they have the bounce thing, but uh, it's so no, no zip line this year. Not letting anyone to jump. It's just the employees. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I tried to go there twice. They didn't let me go. Okay. And um, are you looking forward to seeing any stars this year? Have you, uh, have you bought yes, any tickets? I bought a ticket to meet uh, Zachary Levy. Oh, dude, me too! <laughs> it was Luke's birthday three days ago. And we drew his picture as Shazam. I'll show it to you. And uh, I'm really hoping to take a picture with Zachary Levi with him today. So, yeah, that's really cool. Anyways, it's good to chat to you again, man. And I uh, hope to catch you, huh? You, yeah, sure. Oh. 
Okay, so a little bit of info uh, regarding our participation this year. So for those of you who do follow regularly, you'll notice that we didn't put out any notifications regarding our participation this year because, quite frankly, um, we just thought it was way too expensive. And secondly, and secondly, because we really wanted to maybe take some time off and celebrate our our first birthday with Luke, so that was something that we uh, that we were intentional about. We did not participate this year in Comic Con, but uh, you know there are always other years. I'm kind of hoping that uh, I get to connect with more people this year than I did last year, primarily because. We we were so busy last year. Seriously, we were so busy in uh, in booth last year, trying to make sales, trying to manage our um, our inventory, trying to manage our sales team. I pretty much worked like more than 12 hours a day last year. So so that was something that uh, that took away a lot of the joy at the Comic Con. I did not really get to experience it very much. I'm kind of hoping that uh, that gets to change this year. And uh, this is Luke's first Comic Con. All right, son. All right, so how would you describe your experience on a scale of 1 to 10 so far? Okay, that's pretty good. We're checking out this really cool PlayStation booth here. Very cool display. For all you gaming fans out there. This is the PS4 Pro station. Apparently it's dangerous, you guys. Apparently it's dangerous. The other thing is last year this time, Desara did not get to attend the Comic Con, so I'm gonna check in with her and let's find out why. So, man, um, you didn't attend the Comic Con last year. Can no, you tell us why? Because <laughs> I was so pregnant, <laughs> and this little guy came three days after the Comic Con. Yeah, he, was, he came like literally just after Comic Con ended, and uh, that means that we just managed to like successfully exhibit on all three days without meaning to rush to the hospital or anything like that so that was that was really that was a really stressful really busy time to be honest Yo guys, we're, oh, we finally just uh, made it to my friend's stall. His name is Rick. He runs a really, really cool show called Ar Arkham Creative here. Uh, here he is. We're really, really excited to meet hey guys. him again. This guy right here is one of the reasons that I actually got into Comic Con in the first place. So Rick, tell us about yourself uh, and what you do. Thank you. Founder of Arkham Creative. And what I do is I take pictures I love and I make them out of paper and blade. If you can see that, see it's got dimensions to that. Very cool. So I spend hours and hours cutting images up with a nice sharp blade, cut myself a thousand times. But do you know Winnie the Pooh plasters are amazing. Very manly, very masculine. That's, <laughs> that's really awesome. I'll keep that in mind and try that out. Okay, so uh, what exactly is your style? How do you make the art? Uh, how long does it take for you to finish a single piece? Okay, tell us a little bit about your process. The process basically is I see a sketch that I like. Okay. I'll go, all right, I'm going to have to break it down in my head. Okay. Going, all right, that's going to be the black layer. That's going to be the gray layer. And it's going to be the white layer. So let me give you an example of, uh, are you a fan of Black Panther? Yes, definitely. Here we go. So, 
This is a normal sketch. Okay, so what I did is like, all right, I'm gonna make the white background, the black, and then I'm gonna throw a nice uh, red at the back. I forgot, almost forgot what that color that was. So, and I layer it. So I start cutting process on, on the uh, card that I have, and then layer it, and then cut the white away, and then, bam, on the red. That's very cool. How, how long have you actually been exhibiting at Comic-Con, and can you tell us about your experience this year compared to previous years? Oh, um, I've been doing this for about six years. Uh, I usually have a main booth, this time and the first time in Artist Alley, uh, among my people. And uh, I'll tell you very much, it's amazing here. Every year it gets stronger and better. This year, Turbo Diva. I walked in with my cup of coffee. Calm, cool, collective. As you can see, I got more uh, gray hair this year. It's called Wisdom. Okay. So if you were to uh, give some advice to people who are interested in this kind of thing, maybe even potential artists or people who are training to be artists, what advice would you offer them and um, how would you basically share your your success with them? I, 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 I tell you, if you are an artist, just do it. Okay, like the Nike ad says, do it. There's no originality. Do it your way. You're an artist, fine. Right. Talk to people, get it out. That's why we're here. And after three, four, five years, you will have that notoriety for being that specific, unique artist. So I would recommend, guys, get out there. You guys are all talented. You all have all passion. Bring it to here and bring it to the game. And you guys do amazingly. Thanks so much, man. Thank so you. where can people follow you and check out more of your work? I don't want anyone to follow me. I don't want anyone to... <laughs> there. Go, go, go. Please follow me. I need friends. Uh, I have abandonment issues, so don't unfollow me because you'll break my heart. We just took a, a little bit of a break from Rick. He's hogging all the attention here in this particular alley. I just discovered this really, really, really cool guy. His name is Matt. There's his, uh, his little tag over there. So, Matt, tell us a, a little bit about what you do and uh, what's been your experience here so far. So, I teach comics making classes. Uh, that's my day job. I visit schools and comic conventions. I had a workshop at MEFCC yesterday. And this is like my textbook in a comic book. So it's an interactive book, you write and draw the book as you go through, and at the end, make your own comic in the comic. That's really cool, man. So if you were to, uh, since you're a professional artist and you've been doing this for a while, uh, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out their, uh, their journey in art and potentially looking at a career in, in, in the field as well? And the one thing I think the best advice that I've heard and I can tell other people is start small. Like I have met so many people who have this idea for their thousand page comic epic but they haven't drawn a single page. So when I team up with artists for these stories, it's between one and six pages max. Like they're short and it doesn't take that much time to get something done. And that's cool. Story is better than having this unfinished magnum opus. So when people ask me, like, what can I do to get started, just make something. Make a one-page, a two-page, a five-page story, and just, you'll learn so much from making it, but also then you'll have something done that you can show people. So start small, figure out how it works and what you can do. You'll learn so much. Do another short one, a few short ones. And then, you know, this is a collection of short stories. It's not one long thing. Do something you can finish and get it done. Lastly, where can people follow you and check out more of your work online? Instagram, at Smith vs. Smith Comics on Facebook, Twitter, Smith vs. Smith Comics, and then Smith vs. Smith.com, you can find out all the other stuff. Cool man, it was really cool to meet you. Thanks man. And best of luck with the Comic Con. Cheers! Oh man, after that uh, interview, after doing the rounds, man, we're so tired, we're getting some food right now. I'm really excited. He's woken up from his little power now. Excited to go for round two. Catch you guys on the other side. Okay, so it is that time again, and we have made it to the line. The line, you guys. Check it out. 
everyone here is waiting to meet the stars. So we officially have queued up to day and uh, hopefully we can make it in time. It's about 20 minutes ahead of time uh, before Zachary Levi and some of the other stars in this particular sketch will line up and, uh, and get started with their photo shoots. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get in. Uh, line's looking kind of long right now, but you know, not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, looking forward to it. Really excited, really pumped. So, there's a little guy, he's pretty awake to me. Okay, hi. Oh, look at that. Are you excited? Yeah? Okay, so the line is getting shorter. The line is getting shorter. Oh, it's not a baby. I pull on the star. Yeah, as you can see, guys. Line. It's almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're out, but end now. It's, like, it's so close, we can almost feel it. So close, we can almost get there. It's a little guy. Can you see David right now? Yeah. They're allowing the three of us to take a shot. a little bit about yourself and what you are known for. Okay, g'day guys, uh, my name is Jeffrey Cruz, I go by Chamba, um, I'm primarily the uh, Street Fighter, uh, comic books, I've also done endings for the Street Fighter 5 arcade edition and uh, I did also the um, Symmetra comic for uh, Blizzard, Overwatch. Okay, so how long have you been in the Middle East? Is this your first time? Have you been here before? And uh, how would you rate your experience this year over other experiences okay. that you've had? Uh, maybe, I think about five times already. So I've been here for about five years, I suppose. Um, I like it. The place is great. Uh, the people are super enthusiastic, specifically in the show. Um, the people in general are, are fantastic too. The food is excellent. The place is, I mean, it's hot, but other than that, Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being absolutely epic, how would you compare it to other years and why? Oh, this year? Previous years. Um, I'd go about, I've got 8, 9, man, easy. Um, it's getting bigger as the years go, so obviously with that you kind of have to adapt to that. Like the first year we were here, I think it was the second year, and that was held like at a smaller venue. That, it's a little bit more intimate, but you know, you just have to adapt to it. But yeah, the people are super friendly still. And super people, uh, I guess they're super enthusiastic, and that's obviously a very positive thing for us. That's really yeah. cool, man. Can you tell us a little bit about what projects you're working on right now, um, and what's keeping you busy at the moment? Sure. Um, I recently finished uh, my second volume of Random Views, which is my original property. Uh, we're going to launch that soon, so I'll probably be advertising. Um, and I've got a few things lined up for the rest of the year, but nothing that I can announce here. Okay, sounds good. If you were to give uh, a piece of, of advice to, uh, say, an upcoming artist or somebody looking to pursue a career in art, uh, from your level of success and experience, what would you advise people out there? The main thing is I would definitely say um, if you don't love the process, if you don't love the creating aspect, then this is probably not the field for you. There's not always financial success in this field. So again, I think the main thing is you have to love what you're doing. That's the main thing for sure. That sounds good. Where can people follow you and check out more of your work? Right here? Anywhere on like Twitter, Instagram, it's exactly the same thing. I post most of my stuff there and uh, yeah, pretty much every information that you can get is from that area. That sounds really good. Thanks so much. Oh good man. Thanks again. Dude. Alright guys, so it looks like we are wrapping up today. It was pretty epic. We got to we got to check out everything we really wanted to check out. Uh, 
we made it to see Mr. Zachary Levi. We got to interview some really cool artists. So I think we're we're gonna have to head on home. Again, as you can see, it's so very much alive, it, and there's so much more to do here. But we're probably gonna clock out. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how this evening winds down, and uh, as we make it to the adventure home. On the way home, you guys. On the way home, and it's raining. 